So you know how everybody has like this thing? Well, I think I figured out my new thing, and my new thing is going to be talking about the entitlement of YouTubers. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, typically what I like to do is take different topics from the YouTube community that are in the public spotlight, remember that, and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos just for you, just for you, all right? So anyways, before I get started, before I jump into this topic, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you loyal ride or die rewired soldiers out there. I cannot thank you enough. And the reason being, I uploaded a video this morning called Unsubscribe from the Rewired Soul. And I was nervous. I was afraid to put that out there, but I just got to a point. I'm like, you know what? I need to put this out because, um, yeah, obviously I've been going through it the last couple months and I feel better than I've ever, like not than I've ever felt, but I feel better than I've felt in months. And it was finally because I'm just like, you know what? Like I'm kind of tired of this stuff. And if you like it, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. And, um, yeah, like all of your guys' love and support and like you're down with what I do here on my channel. Like, I love it, you know? Like me and you, we're gonna learn, we're gonna grow together. Sometimes we're gonna be wrong about things, sometimes we're gonna be right. But at the end of the day, we're gonna learn from our mistakes, right? And we're gonna learn from the mistakes that other people are making in the public spotlight. So again, thank you so much to all of you beautiful rewired soldiers out there, all right? So anyways, I'm about to jump into this topic, but I wanna make it very clear. This video is not specifically about Trisha Paytas. Yes, Trisha Paytas was in the title. Yes, Trisha Paytas was in the thumbnail. But I'm gonna be talking about the YouTube community as a whole. This is not all YouTubers, but you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about as we dive into this topic, all right? So to set this scene up for you guys a little bit, I just want you guys to remember this clip. I don't know. I don't know if that's related. Um, I'm just going to talk about what Brianna asked about just... Well, we'll just talk about this. We ride so I'll just get it out because in my video, it's on my vlog channel. You know, I was... I attacked... I went for like low blows as people call it. But it's like... I explained this on my Patreon, but I'm going to just explain it real quick here. Like, it's like when someone like is attacking you over and over and over and your relationship and telling saying that you guys shouldn't be together and you need separate therapy and someone's just like constantly like haranguing you about like what you need and how to fix you and like how to fix your relationship and why you guys shouldn't be together it's like so annoying it's so annoying like it's 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 beyond annoying i don't even know the word for it all right so those of you who do not know where that clip came from all right it was a it was a live stream that trisha paytas did okay a while back and it was when i was making videos about her relationship with jason nash and i was basically saying you guys see this relationship don't do that being the opposite of that this is not a good relationship all right and she was upset and she didn't want me to make videos about her anymore well, well, for the umpteenth time, like this is not the first time. I've made some videos on it in the past, try to see what we can learn from it. Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash have been broken up for a while and she keeps talking about him on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, and everything like that, all right? So most recently, she was on Twitter saying all of these things, okay? I have a few tweets up on the screen right now. All right, Trisha Paytas just talking all this trash about Jason Nash. So again, like I said, I want you to remember that clip, okay? Now, I want you to think, just sit back and ask yourself because here at The Rewired Soul, we try to talk about empathy and empathy is basically just trying to put yourself in the other person's shoes. Now, how you would respond to that situation might be different to how they responded, but we at least try to put ourselves in, the, in their shoes. So for just a second, just one second, Put yourself in Jason Nash's shoes, or even David Dobrik's shoes, and ask yourself, do you think they want Trisha Paytas talking about them publicly over and over? Do you think Jason Nash wants Trisha Paytas calling him evil, calling him a liar, calling him a cheater? Do you think he wants any of that stuff out there? And by the way, just to kind of be on, like, you know, just a, a little icing on top of the cake, like, do you think all of this information was actually released publicly or she's saying some private information as well, things that we didn't know about, all right? So think about that for a second. 
So basically, we're gonna be talking about entitlement, we're gonna be talking about privacy, and some other things in this video. Now, before I, I go further into this topic, I wanna make something very clear, okay? Because I'm gonna be talking about things that are public and things that are private. Like, one thing that is not cool in any way, shape, or form is like showing up at YouTubers' houses. Like, that is not cool, that's not okay. Like, people have the right to that privacy, all right? Like they can keep their life that way. Like if you see a YouTuber in public or something and you run up to him and say hi, you know, like that's part of the gig. That's part of what we signed up for, right? But like finding out where they live and showing up at their house is a big, big, big no-no. Like that, that's just not okay, all right? But what I wanna talk about is this is like an ongoing theme. I've experienced this, I've seen other people experience this, Right? Where we have, we have an entire commentary community, you have drama channels, you have the news uh, channels, and everything like that. And something that keeps coming up more and more is, don't make videos about me. And that, to me, seems like the most ridiculous request I have ever heard in my life. And here's why. Here's why. Like, I, I really try to respect the audience, okay? I try to respect the fact that some of you watching this, some of you watching YouTube, like you are using this as an escape from your day-to-day -day life. Like I used to work the nine to five, I've worked jobs that I've hated and everything like that. And I'm assuming some of you watching this video are the same way. So to help get some perspective on what I mean, like just imagine the audacity of YouTubers to say, do not talk about the information that I make public, okay? Like ask yourself this, why do people become YouTubers? Why do you think, all right, and uh, you know, since we're talking about Trisha Paytas, why do you think Trisha Paytas became a YouTuber, right? Why do you think Tana Mojo became a YouTuber? Why do you think James Charles became a YouTuber? Why do you think Emma Chamberlain became a YouTuber? Why do you think Shane Dawson became a YouTuber? Like, just any YouTuber out there, doesn't matter what genre they're in, why do you think they became a YouTuber, okay? Now, some of us, we wanna get a message out there, we wanna talk, you know, there's a bunch of different reasons, but there's some things that we knew. We knew when we signed up for this, when we signed up for this, we knew we were putting ourselves out there in the public spotlight. And maybe some of us wanted to do it for attention, right? Some people like purely want the popularity. They wanna be loved and admired by everybody. Some of them look at people balling like Jake Paul, right? And they're like, you know what? I wanna be a YouTuber and I wanna be a baller like that. And a lot of people become YouTubers because they wanna be their own boss. They wanna do the thing that they love, right? and make a living off of that. Meanwhile, you the viewers are sitting here watching this and you don't have that same luxury, okay? And maybe you you know, will become a YouTuber, but think about that. Like, the problem that I have with YouTubers is the entitlement. Like, why do YouTubers think that they can get all of the good and none of the bad? Like, think about that for a second. Like, that's just the way it works. That's the trade-off, you know? And this is why, this is like my new thing. This is my new thing. I just cannot imagine, I cannot imagine having the sheer audacity to ask anybody not to talk about something that I made the choice to put public. Okay, and sorry, like Trisha Paytas just keeps popping in my head, even though I said this is about all YouTubers, but Trisha Paytas, made her relationship with Jason Nash extremely public. Months after they've broken up, she's made it extremely public, all right? So to think, to think in any way, shape, or form that it's okay to say, don't talk about this, is absolutely ridiculous. Like, we have the right to privacy, all right? Anything that I don't want you guys to know about, I do not share publicly. But anything that I do share publicly, you all are allowed to have your opinions on, okay? Any of the things that I say on my channel, anything that I tweet out, anything that I put on Instagram, anything that I write in a blog post, anything that I say on my podcast, anything that I put in my books, right? Like, my books, like, could you imagine if I said, hey, I know I released this book publicly and it helps support me financially, but do me a favor and don't say anything negative about that. Like, could you, like, like, am I crazy here? Like, if you've made it this far in the video and I'm crazy, let me know down in the comments below. Because here's the thing. Like, there's certain things about me that you can have absolutely no opinion on unless you just, you know, just wanted to make something up. Like, 
I don't know. You don't know my night routine. I've never made a video about my nightly routine. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you can't have an opinion on it. But everything else that I put out there publicly, you're allowed to have an opinion on. Okay, like anybody out there is allowed to have an opinion on it and make it public. It's just like, this goes back to parasocial relationships, which are really interesting. Like myself and Psych IRL made a video together a while back on that. Like sometimes you as the audience feel this like personal connection with YouTubers. And I think it's because we're just people like filming in our rooms or whatever it is. And like, you feel it's just you one-on-one -on -one and you're like, hey, don't talk about their private life, you guys. This is all public. And I just want you to expand this into other places, like in the world and other like uh, careers in the world. Could you imagine, could you imagine if just like celebrities were like, don't talk about my life. Like I wanna be a rich and famous celebrity. I wanna be in movies, I wanna be on TV, I wanna be a singer, I wanna be whatever it is. But please don't talk about me if it might be anything that might upset me. You know what I mean? Like we make that decision. We make that decision. And that is one of the reasons why I preach that it's so important to work on your mental health, especially, especially if you're going to be a YouTuber, all right? You're going to have people talking about you. You're going to have people have their opinions about you. You might not like it, but we do not have any right to ask, to even request that people do not talk about us. Now, don't get me wrong. If there's anything that's slanderous, yeah, that could be against the law. Then you handle that legally. You know what I mean? But when you are putting information out there in the public, people are allowed to talk about it. So if for, for any reason, for any reason, any other YouTubers are watching this, here's a rule of thumb. If there are things in your life that you do not want people to have an opinion on, do not make it public. Not everything you do is going to be loved by everybody. People are allowed to be critical. And just because your feelings get hurt does not mean people are not allowed to discuss it. At a certain point, all of us, me, you, YouTubers, everybody, we need to take re personal responsibility for the choices we make. All right? Like, I have done some really dumb stuff for all of you guys to see. And I have to accept that. Like, I can't run around just asking you guys not to talk about it. Like, this is so much different. And I promise you I'm going to wrap this up in a second. Like, one of the issues that's uh, come up lately, you know, Bella Thorne recently had this happen. Someone hacked into her phone and took her private pictures and made those public. That is not okay, right? But if she released those pictures publicly and then told nobody to share them, that would be different. And I hope that you guys are making the connection here. So I want you guys to look at your own lives, all right? Look at your own lives and ask where your entitlement is coming from. Where's your audacity coming from where you think that you can have all the good over here and none of the bad because I hate to break it to you. I absolutely hate to break it to you. That is not how life works, all right? And we all need to acknowledge when we go to certain career paths or life choices, there are certain things that come along with it, all right? If for any reason I don't want anybody talking about me ever again, this YouTube channel is going bye-bye. But until that point happens, all of you, all of you viewers, any other YouTubers who do commentary or drama or whatever it is, or news, you are allowed to talk about me. It is your God-given right, <laughs> okay? But anyways, that's my new thing, and I will bring it up if I ever see YouTubers do this, because YouTubers need to be held accountable for the ridiculous requests that they're making please don't talk about me. Like, nobody's breaking into your house or stealing your medical records. Calm down a little bit. And again, before I leave, like, a big, huge, huge thank you. I feel, I feel more myself than I have in months. I spent months just second-guessing literally everything I was doing, and I feel, I feel me again. All right, and I hope you guys, you know, you're, you're ready to continue this journey with me and see what we can learn from these YouTubers that are making their lives public and try to improve our own lives from it. 
you and me together, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who's taking that extra step, supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you want to support what I'm doing here, you can click or tap right there. All right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.